and sisters in Christ, happy Resurrection Sunday. Today, we celebrate the most significant victory in the history of mankind. That's the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a day that transformed despair into hope, fear into faith, and death into life. Let's look at the text for this Resurrection Sunday. Today's text comes from Mark 16, 1 through 8. That's Mark 16, 1 through 8. And I'll be reading from the Christian Standard Bible. Our text says, When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene married the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they could go and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb at sunrise. They were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone from the entrance of the tomb for us? Looking up, they noticed that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side. They were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he told them. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they put him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there just as he told you. They went out and ran from the tomb because trembling and astonishment overwhelmed them. And they said nothing to anyone since they were afraid. I submit for my topic this Resurrection Sunday, the Undisputed Champion. May God add blessings to everyone who receives and responds to today's resurrection passage. Beloved, hope rises in the face of defeat. Repeat that with me. Hope rises in the face of defeat. This is important for us to recognize and incorporate within ourselves. Hope rises in the face of defeat. Beloved, even in the darkest and most challenging times, when it seems like we've been defeated and there's no way for it, hope can still emerge and rise up. You see, hope is not crushed by adversity, but instead has the power to overcome it. This morning, we'll receive the ultimate example of this truth by the resurrection of Jesus. Beloved, on Good Friday, it appeared that Jesus had been defeated by death and the powers of darkness. His crucifixion seemed like the ultimate failure and loss. However, on this Resurrection Sunday, Jesus rose triumphant from the grave, showing that hope in life can conquer even the greatest of defeats. For us as believers, this phrase is a potent reminder that no matter what struggles, disappointments, or apparent defeats we face in our own lives, there's always reason to have hope. Hope can emerge from the very moments when we feel the most vulnerable and defeated, transforming our situations and empowering us to persevere. It's because of what Jesus did for us. His resurrection victory assures us that in him, we too can overcome and experience the reality of hope rising in the face of any defeat or challenge. Just as Jesus triumphed over death and the grave, we too can experience the power of hope in our lives, enabling us to rise above our circumstances and walk in the victory that comes from faith in God's promises. Friends, the empty tomb isn't just a historical footnote. It's a declaration of God's power over darkness. It's a cosmic shift, a rewrite of the ending, a testament to the unwavering promises of God. The Gospel of Mark paints a vivid picture of this scene. Uh, three women, burdened with grief, approached the tomb expecting the worst. Their world had crumbled, their leader and their hope were gone. But then the earth trembles, the stone is rolled away, and an angel appears with a life-changing message. He is not here. He has risen. Beloved, this is a pivotal moment. The tomb, a symbol of despair, become an emblem of triumph. Death, once considered the ultimate victor, is conquered. This echoes the words of the prophet Hosea. 
I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Where, O death, are your plagues? Where, O grave, is your victory? Beloved, how often do we find ourselves standing at the foot of our own personal tombs? Maybe it's a broken relationship, a devastating illness, the loss of a loved one, a seemingly insurmountable financial burden. We feel defeated, trapped by the weight of our circumstances. Just like the women at the tomb, despair threatens to consume us. Friends, I want each of you to take heart. The message of the Resurrection Sunday is for you. Just as God conquered death through Jesus' resurrection, he can breathe new life into your situation. Hold on to hope, even in the darkest of times. Remember, God's promises are unshakable, and his love is unfailing. Beloved, you are not defined by your defeats, but by your comebacks. You are not defined by your defeats, but by your comebacks. The women at the tomb, though initially filled with grief, didn't hesitate to share the news of the resurrection. Their faith, shaken but not broken, compelled them to act. Beloved, faith is not passive, it's active. It compels us to be witnesses, to spread the good news of God's love and salvation. So, this Resurrection Sunday, let the message of the resurrection ignite a fire within you. The resurrection is not just about Jesus coming back to life. It's about his ascension into heaven and the promise of his return. This gives us something to look forward to, a future filled with hope and joy. The resurrection is not just a historical event. It's a present reality. We can experience the power of the resurrection in our own lives every day through faith and obedience. Friends, share the light of Christ with those around you. It could be as simple as an act of kindness, a word of encouragement, or even a bold declaration of your faith. Remember, the world desperately needs the hope that only Jesus can offer. Let your life be a reflection of the transformative power of the resurrection. Let the spirit of this Resurrection Sunday fill your hearts with joy and purpose. Go forth and be living testimonies to the power of the risen Christ. Share your faith, spread hope, and let the world know that He is alive. Amen. Let us go into the throne room of grace and mercy. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. We praise you for his sacrifice and glorious resurrection. We pray that the message of Resurrection Sunday may fill our hearts with hope, strengthen our faith, and guide our steps. May we be instruments of your love and bring light to the world. In Jesus' name we pray. To God be the glory.